Hello everybody. In this video we are going to see the functions. And probably you are asking why we're seeing the functions we already saw that. Well, let's going to see another different concept about the function. Well, extended functionality. So if everybody remember in the modules chapter we saw something like this. Let's say we define our function with the definition keyword def and put a name, example grid. Then the arguments I want to accept is going to save some argument, let's call the name. And we say like print hello name. Okay. And then we can actually say grid Rodolfo. And we see that execution. We can actually also do something like read class. Hello Rodolfo. Hello class. So we're calling a function to do a specific um, job or functionality for the program and it's going to be executed. If you're going to this cheat sheet in the function section we say we saw the same parameter, well, the same structure to how they define it there. We have def keyword, the name of the function, the parameters that are going to be accepted, but then we saw get over the station we have a return um, keyword. So what this return is when the function actually does some kind of validation it will return a specific value. So this is what we saw before. Let's let's do something that is going to be a specific calculation to return some specific value. Let's say for example um, and you know what let's do it like the book. So we will define by two function let's say I'm going to take a number and this will return return number multiply by 2 oh so it's a function okay you're not doing anything at all then we create our main function that or entry point and we say it like simple number equal 10 number x2 equal by 2 number and then we print number and number x2 oh sorry the column so I always forget to put those perfect and this is called our main function to be executed. Ten and twenty. So what is happening here? So we execute the main function. The main function define number variable by ten. Then the number x two we call the by two function and we send the number. What happened here? What is happened to that specific variable? Well, this variable actually get the value that this function return. So this function, the by two, we have the definition on the top. It's taking a number, multiply that number by two, and return the new value. So this value that is actually be returned over here is going to be assigned to this variable over here. That's why outside this scope, when we print the variable, we see it over there. This is actually how it works. And we can have uh, complex functionality or simpler functionality, but it's just to get um, something extra to be implemented. Another functions that we have available in Python are actually the functions that we already, um, the import functions that we saw before. 
So in a couple of videos ago we saw how to import the some matte properties and we can use the pie and how the seal and the floor uh, function actually to do a specific value. Those functions are actually defined in an array in a library. A library is like a, a set of functions that you can be imported and use them for later projects. And Python can hone a couple of those. And as I said before, we already saw the function for the for the math. And there's another one for generate random numbers. And that one is actually really simple. And another way to actually import, just import and the name of the font. So this is library random, it's part of Python, so we are going to we are telling to interpreter. You know what? I'm going to use this section. And we can actually print let's say random dot because we have visual studio code, we have several components over there. We want a random integer, so we select it or we type it. Um we get the values that we want and on this step how much we want to actually put it. So let's say um, let's say one to ten. Save it, it's printed. We save it again, it generates another one. If we save it again, it generates another one. So I know that you're not looking actually what I'm typing over here. So let me just cancel this and let's do a Python function. So 7 is executed. If I do it again, a 9 is there, a 7 again, a 2, a 8. Because random is generated a random number between this range that we specified over here. If we increment the range, save it and continue execute it without the elements get in there. 